what is going on guys it's your boy mr 75 complete here with another video and today guys we are finally back on the road i'm actually feeling a little better today i don't know if it was the medicine that was making me feel dizzy or whatnot but i guess we feel better that's a plus can't wait for tomorrow because tomorrow they're gonna take my stitches off and uh hopefully be ready for the show but today gang we are on our way to peru indiana which is about two hours and 40 minutes away from where we at. We are on our way to go check out this 1971 Chevy Impala four-door with no post. No post means like between the two windows, they don't have a post. So when you put the both windows, it's just open. I'll show you guys when we get there. But um, A lot of people were telling me why a four-door. Well, I don't know, I like four-doors. Um, Oh yeah, what? This is a Oh my bad, see my boy corrected me. You're right, it's a Capri, man. You know, I've been, I've been looking at these all week that I'm already confused of what I'm looking at. Capri's and Impala's, but he's actually right. It's a Capri, guys. So you know, Capri's got all the bells and whistles. So we're gonna check it out. I guess the car, from what I know, is a one owner car, or previously one owner car that they bought from an estate. And it only has 33,000 original miles. The guy said it's nice, but you know everybody's nice is not the same so I'm hoping the car is decent because if you guys do know we picked up some set of um, a set of wheels yesterday and I don't think they would look bad on that car so that's probably the plan right now so yeah we're actually on our way right now I'm with my boy Big Blue right there you see him look at him driving a taxi that's why I always drive you know but uh, yeah we're gonna pull up right now and hopefully this car is as nice as he says it is so we can make something happen i mean they are asking a good price for it but i don't know like i said to me i just love buying old original stuff it's like the best and as you guys can tell we didn't bring a trailer well you guys can't tell because we're in the truck but we didn't bring a trailer or the tow truck so if we do buy it, we didn't have to drive it back so i think that's going to be fun as well without the braking part if it breaks right but Let's just stay positive and just hope everything goes well. So, y'all stay tuned. It looks nice over here, though. This is a dead end. Yep, it's a setup. Oh, I see a lake or river over there. Can't wait to go fishing. Take the boat out. I haven't even brought the boat out. Oh damn, it was not even a lake, it was the damn truck. <laughs> and from far as there, it looked like it was water, right? <laughs> damn. Alright. I see it, I see it. And this is the beauty. Dun, 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 dun. Hey, why can't this be a convertible right now? Ooh, we see the goodies. See, we got the tail light panel. And we got the bumper guards. Bumper looks like brand new. See, it's got the 400. Now you see this? What I was talking about—the no post. You see, I see there's no post right here, so both windows come down. Chicago. Hmm. Yee, look at that front end. Nice. Nice. Got the Caprice grill. Got a little, I don't know what is that. 
probably just uh, one little scratch right there. Yeah, it looked like uh, something fell on it, probably brake fluid or something. It took the paint off. AC car, 400. Two barrel. Two barrel, all original. <laughs> I think it's funny when I be seeing the winter washing yeah. fluids. A lot, of t a lot of people take those away. Well, you just don't see them no more. At the reservoir here. Like it still has the original radiator. Almost 34,000 miles it says on it. 34, almost 34,000. It's starting to show his age. Oh, look at them seats. Them seats are really nice. It was like somebody's uh, grandma's couches. Must be a Chicago car. It's got a lot of Chicago stickers. Must got the booklets. This is probably the same book that I seen before. So here it is. Yeah, this one's power option. This is a two door. Where's a four door? You see, this is the one with the post. No post. So I'm guessing if this is an Impala. I don't know. There we go, see? That one got the post. Oh look, see? This one got power, no power. No power, no power. So it tells you the different options. Different options. And all the things that's equipped, it's pretty cool. It's pretty cool yeah, it tells you everything yeah. about the car. That's That's cool. Why can't this be a convertible, right? Or a two door. Or a two door. Four doors, four doors is too many doors. <laughs> it's all original though, like. The guy never drove it. The guy never drove it? Can't really not, that much. So it, does this have a Illinois title? I'm only uh, asking, you know? Oh, okay, okay. No, because I see a lot of stickers from oh. Chicago, I didn't know. Shot thing gang. Looks decent. I mean it shows his age already, but it is a 71. I mean it shows like the color of the rust, but I feel like you can still clean that off because this is just like how do I say it? It's not like rust, it's just like like kind of I don't know how to say it, but it's not really rusted. I guess it can be cleaned up. Got the sea bills up here. Oh, the lights work. Damn, they're long. Look at that with them. You're trying to see if the AC works? It, 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 blows, it blows out cool air, but. Pine is free on? Yeah. How you like them uh, granny uh, couches, Lou? Bones. Oh, look at that dash. No cracks. No cracks. Uh, so here's the information. Twenty-two thousand. Jeez. New MSRP of four hundred second generation Caprice. Oh, there you go. 
18.5 feet long. This thing is long. Look at the dash. This thing looks nice. This looks like brand new. Like the condition y'all see this dash. The only thing I wish it was I wish it was power. But like I said, can't have them all. We got a lot of we got some goodies here. What we got? Owner's manual. What is that? Pack of gum. Look like a pack of gum, but it's not a pack of gum. <laughs> oh, we got some extra parts. I'm not gonna go through it, so you now we got a gasket here. For the tires, the valve stand thingies. Not valve stand, but all right, let me put this back. I don't want to go through this man's stuff. Oh man, I just look at this dash condition. Like, it's like brand new. I bet you the thing just floats. Oh, and it's got GPS right here. GPS, guys. Does it come with the GPS? GPS. On the windshield? <laughs> <laughs> Thing is nice, gang. What y'all think? Ford or well, let me see the bottom. I, I see rose color, but that's just the frame. Pretty sure it can be just retouching. Let me see. Let me see. Yeah, not too bad. It just needs to be reconditioned. Ah, oh, man, pretty dusty over here. I don't know. I know the price is high though, but I mean, you gotta understand the condition and the, what it is. Hopefully we can make some happen. Yeah, I think it's nice, I like it. It almost looks like you don't even have to put wheels. But then four yards would look nasty in here. What y'all think gang? What y'all think? Should we add the 71 Caprice? Sedan? Let me show you guys how the window looks. I think this is cool. Uh, let me see. It's rolling down. Okay. There you go. That looks cool. All right, let me see if I can go on the test drive and uh, see what happens after that. Well, right, guys, made it happen. 1971 Chevy Caprice sedan is going back with us. I haven't even tested the car, so I'm just going based on his words, saying that it drives good. So, super excited, like this car, like the condition on it, it's really taken care of, and we're about to drive it almost three hours, so, I'm excited. Ah, hey, come on, title, sit in there, hey, oh, hold on, I don't want to rip the title. There we go, so. This actually will be my first time driving it. Oh, and we got a full tank. Jeez. Even better. Alright. Thank you, uh, rent a trailer, whatever. For this beauty. Now it's time to take it back with us. Oh yeah, I can already feel it. The thing just floats. Uh. Oh yeah, very nice, very nice. What y'all think, gang? Get in the comment section. Let me know what y'all think of our latest pickup, the 1971. 
everything is coasting. I really hope the gas works. I'm not trying to be stranded right now the gas. Maybe I should have asked them, huh? Maybe I just put gas and be safe. Yeah, that's what we're gonna do. But yeah, I like it gang, I like it. Underneath is pretty solid. We need to touch some things up just to make it look more presentable, but it's a pretty solid car. Not to worry about it. It's got a lot of good parts, so. I'm excited to get back and start working on it. Maybe finish it for the car show? Hmm. I don't know. I have to think about that. <sighs> well, I'm gonna check back with y'all once we get in closer to the house to see how it drives and see how it coasts. Right now, let me check all these fluids. Well, guys, we already found an issue with the car. Thing. We were two hours in. We're by Kankakee, so we're about an hour out, and the car just died out at the light. A gentleman just pulled over and kind of helped me, and we realized that, well, it got the wrong belt going from the alternator, so it's not, it wasn't, so the car was not getting any power. I was trying to start it back up. It died at the red light, and it just wouldn't start. And there was no crank, no nothing, so I had I knew it had to do something with the um, power. And we just realized that somebody put a belt on it. It's not the one that goes on there. Well, I don't know. Let me let me turn it off. And show you guys real quick. Just, just letting, trying to charge. Hopefully, um, we are here in Napa, and they got a belt. But a gentleman, a gentleman has stopped by. He helped me out. Um, and we noticed that the belt, y'all can see, is just kind of like shredding. See that? Because it's not the right belt, I guess. And it's very loose. So he actually just helped me tie the belt. So he had a tool that he pulled the alternator back. And tying the battery because it was a little bit loose. And it started right up. He told me there was an epic couple blocks. So shout out to him, man. Good dude. He helped your boy out. Um... Uh, Now we gotta get a belt so we can make it home. Otherwise, I'm about to call my brother come get me with the tow truck. But yeah, gang, I guess the, the belt's not charging. And it was weird because I just pulled up and it died out. Like it lost power completely. So I didn't know what it was. And I just realized, uh, well, we just figured out that it's the, the battery not charging. So hopefully Napa can save the day. Other than that, car ran good. I mean, we've been on the road for two hours and we haven't had any issues. I mean, that's an easy fix. It's just the belt not charging. So hopefully they got a belt. All right, guys, Mr. 75 Caprice Mechanic. That will be me. Just got it back running. You see, we put a new belt. Uh, it might not be on correct because I didn't have the proper tools, but at least it looks like it's on there. And we got the right one. The other one might have been the right one, but it was just backwards, so. I don't know why it has a little loose right there, but I had it, you know, used with what I had. And like I said, shout out right here to Napa Auto Parts. They helped me, they let me use their tools for what they had. And yeah, we should be good to go. So I'm letting it charge for a little bit, and then we're gonna hit the road. And hopefully no more surprises. I mean, this car didn't give me no hiccups besides that. And that was just one time and that's it. <laughs> but man, this thing coast is like, you guys know we bought this thing with um, 33,000 miles. Now we just hit 34,000 as y'all can see. And uh, the whole time I kept looking that the, the clock was working. What happened now? Oh man, guys, it was just working. I'm not lying. The whole, the, the whole ride, I just kept seeing that little white thing spin, like, you know, so it was working. I don't, I don't know what happened. Hmm. Uh, hopefully, maybe it just needs to be recharged. I'm going to sit here for a little bit. There you go. Charge up, buddy. Charge up. Well, we're hoping that it charges up the battery 
and we can hit back the road. If not, I'm just gonna call my brother, come pick me up with the tow truck because we are not trying to be stranded. You know, it's only gonna get darker out here and that means we will need our lights and if we use our lights, it's gonna drain more power in case that is not working, you know? I don't know if the alternator gave up, but let's just hope not. Uh, yeah. Other than that, I'm super happy with the car. I mean, this thing was just coasting. Like I said, I don't, this, this thing just came out of nowhere. So, um, just gonna let it idle for a little bit, make sure it charges, cause we are not trying to be stranded. And you guys are probably wondering what happened with my ride with Lou. Well, today's his kid's birthday. I don't want to hold him up. He already did the favor of coming with me. So, hey, I told him just go. You know, I'll figure it out. It's not my first time. And look, I did figure it out. So, I don't want him to miss his kid's birthday, you know. Family's important, so hey, go take care of your family first, bro. I'll figure it out. If I have to pay a tow truck, I'm gonna pay a tow truck. Yeah, I wonder what happened to the clock, though. Come on, that got me. Hmm. All right, gang, well, we're gonna let it charge and hopefully hit the road back. So, I'll let you guys know what happened. Guys, guys, we made it. What's up, bro? We made it. Well, we haven't made it back, but we are at Crusader Customs. And we made it back with 71. Oh, and guess what? The whole gang is over here. So, perfect timing. 71 did it great. Oh, and I seen the, the, the clock moved again, guys. So, I don't know if it's like resetting or whatnot, but... Oh, not working again. But it works, so... Well, actually happy. Super happy. Car is nice. Look at that. Mm-hmm. Super happy with the purchase, gang. Now we can walk over here. Got the whole gang over here. Ooh, we got the charger. And the 4Gs. Yee, look at that Lambo. like a toy car like I can just grab it and move it that thing is nasty fresh out the paint shop shout out to PC did a great job look at that thing he just picked it up last night couldn't go with him because you guys know situation but and he got the matching yours that thing is nasty SVJ and we got Swerve with two times over here. Ooh, that thing's nasty. Last time I seen it, it was black. Hey, what's going on, man? Last time I seen it, it was, he had just gotten it and it was, uh, it was matte black. That's pretty dope. He painted it the SVJ in there. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. And the Euros, pretty nice. I like the Euros a lot. That color is just screaming. The camera don't do no justice, by the way. If y'all see this thing in person, it's just screaming. All right, guys, well, if y'all wanna see more of these cars, y'all make sure you subscribe to CG on 32's channel. These are his cars. He got a lot of supercars, so. What up?